Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, I wanted to show you a stitch. It's a very beautiful stitch. Very easy to, to do this stitch. Well, the only problem is that <clears throat> you're going to have to work only in rounds. So whatever you want to do, like infinity scarf, a hat, a bag, whatever you want to do. This stitch works like this and nice only in rounds. You can do it flat let's say but let's say you start then you have to cut the yarn here then you move again from the beginning attach the yarn and do and cut the yarn it's a, it's a pain to hide all those especially if you want to make a blanket but for example you want to make a sweater and uh, the cuffs or the wrists like here and um, you know maybe you don't want to do the other pattern maybe you want to do this one and it's really nice really nice this well if I don't explain well enough uh, maybe you should uh, some of you if you're interested in this uh, stitch you should go to Nikki's homemade crafts and she has a tutorial with this uh, with this stitch the way I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it a little bit slightly different because it's much easier let's say for me and maybe for you but she has this uh, this stitch uh, on her channel and she calls it the Turkish star stitch so if I'm I can uh, assure you she will explain very well and she will uh, tell you exactly what to do well with this stitch what you're gonna do let's say you do a you're doing an infinity scarf you're gonna chain then you're gonna join the, the the chain into a circle and then you're gonna do one row in each chain of single crochet then you're gonna start when you reach you finish the the row with a single crochet then the first stitch in the first stitch you're gonna do two single let's say two single crochets in the first stitch then you're gonna skip one stitch and then you're gonna do two single crochet in the next stitch and so on so you're gonna do like this skip one stitch and then you're gonna do two single crochets in uh, the same stitch then you're gonna skip the next stitch and in the next stitch you're gonna do two single crochets it's a very easy stitch and looks really nice so again you're gonna skip one and in the next stitch you're gonna do two single crochets so again you skip one and in the next you're gonna do two single crochets and after you finish that row with two single crochets, skip one and so on, when you reach the, <clears throat> the end, let's say, and you have to start a new row, we have here two single crochets, you know. So we have four lines, one, two, three, and fourth. In the fourth one, we're going to insert our hook underneath that fourth line, yeah. And next, if I can stretch and you can see, we have two single crochets, and a chain that we skipped. So we're gonna go first underneath that line and then insert your hook into the stitch that you skipped. Pull up a loop and then do a single crochet. And again you, you're gonna do two, one more single crochet in that stitch. Then again you have two single crochets. So again you're gonna skip the first, second and third line and in the fourth you're gonna go underneath that and next to it here this is the line and here is the, the skipping the stitch so we're gonna go into the line and the stitch so go underneath that line and go into the stitch the stitch that we skipped and do a single crochet and we go again underneath the, the line and that and when you do this second single crochet, this loop, this one, should be a little bit tall and do a single crochet. And again, you move to the next two single crochets, the fourth bar line is here, and the skipped chain, it's right here, it's this one. So you go underneath that line and go into that stitch that you skipped, pull up a loop, and then do a single crochet. And you go again underneath that line and the chain, the stitch that you skipped, 
pull up a loop and leave this one a little bit taller because this is the line that you're gonna go underneath next row, you know. And this is the line that will will give you these lines, these lines. So if you work uh, tight, this line is not gonna show that well. So again, you move to the next two single crochets. You skip. It's like you go to the to the second single crochet the line it's right here so you go underneath that line and the chain that you have to skip it's right here so you go into that stitch wrap a loop do a single crochet you go again under that line and under that stitch that you skipped and leave this one a little bit loose and do a single crochet and you're going to do like this on and on well she has it differently but you know you you can go to her channel and you can see what she's uh, she's doing. She explains very well the the stitch. So again, we have the next two single crochets here. The fourth line is here. The chain that we have to skip it's right here on top of the let's say the this line. So go underneath that line, go into the stitch that we skipped, wrap a loop, and do a single crochet. You go again because we have to do two single crochets. So you go under that line, the stitch that you skipped, pull up a loop and do a single crochet. The next two single crochets are here, the line it's right here. So you go underneath that line and the chain that the, the stitch that you have to skip it's right here, this one here. So you go under that line, go into the stitch that we skipped and do a single crochet and you go again underneath that and you leave this a little bit you know loose the this because this is going to be the line that you go you see it's already formed so it's, it's going to be very easy to to pick up the 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 line which one you should go under okay the next two single crochets are here this is the line and this is the chain right here so you go underneath that line and that stitch that we skipped and do a single crochet you go again underneath that line and uh, the stitch that we skipped wrap a loop and do a single crochet and so on it's very easy well this stitch might uh, <coughs> look nice for example if you work with you know the crochet hook a little bit um, well, bigger otherwise it's gonna it's not gonna show the the line this one right here so again the next two single crochets are here this line you're gonna go underneath and the chain that you it's the the stitch it's right here so you go under it, that line the stitch pull up a loop and do a single crochet and you go again under that line and the uh, stitch and pull up a loop and so on so the next two single crochets are here the the stitch that we skipped it's right here this one so you go under the line the stitch pull up a loop do a single crochet and you go again underneath that line and the uh, stitch, pull up a loop, leave it a little bit, make it a little bit taller, and it's gonna be so easy. It's already we reached the, the the end of the row, so you already see the fourth line. It's so easy to you cannot miss it. So the line is here, and the stitch that you have to go, it's right here, this one. So you go underneath that line, the stitch, pull up a loop do a single crochet we go again underneath that and you know she she has it a little bit uh, different Nikki but you can uh, watch her tutorial and it's really really easy to understand the way she explains it but too bad this cannot be worked in uh, flat unless you have to cut the yarn and later on you're gonna have to hide it so the next two single crochets are here. This is the line. It's because you left it this one. It's the one that you're gonna go into 
next row. So you go in underneath that and the stitch that you have to go into it's right here. Go there, go into that, pull up a loop, do a single crochet. Go back again under the line, the stitch, and this time leave this loop a little bit loose. Make it higher a little bit. And that that is gonna be the line that will pop, you know, if you're gonna see it. So go underneath that, the stitch, pull up a loop, and do a single crochet. And again you're gonna go underneath the line, the stitch, and this one leave it a little bit like that. And the line is right here. You have one, two, three, and the fourth one. So if you leave it a little bit loose, you're gonna see it right away. So the stitch is right here, the one that you have to go underneath. Go underneath the, the line, the stitch, pull up a loop, do a single crochet. And now we're going to go for the second time. I'm going to do like this. Yeah, it's really easy. It's really... And it goes fast. And I think a uh, infinity scarf, you can, uh, you can do a really nice one with this one. And especially if the yarn is uh, thick, it will go really fast. Yeah, and like this. Do a single crochet. We're gonna do two single crochets in uh, that stitch. You see the the line; it's already formed, so it's easy to to go underneath. You see it right away, and uh, the stitch is right here. Go underneath that, the stitch, pull up a loop, do a single crochet, and you go again underneath the line, the stitch, and this time leave this one a little bit tall. The line is here, the stitch is right on top of it, slightly to your left. You go again, so we start a new row now, so again, you're gonna do, you're gonna do like this on and on, the line is here, the stitch is right there, do a single crochet, Go back again and do the same. And this time leave this one a little bit tall. You you see the, the lines already. Yeah. And the stitch that you have to go, it's right here. Right there. So again, you're going to go underneath that line, the stitch, pull up a loop, and do a single crochet. Go for the second time. And this time leave this one a little bit like that. So the line is right here, the stitch is right on top, slightly to your left. Yeah. Go underneath that, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, do a single crochet. So we're gonna go for the second, underneath that line, the stitch, and this one leave it a little bit like that. And it's gonna pop that line. You're gonna see it right away. you can do so many things whatever you can think of with the going in round so you go back again the line the stitch put up a loop and this time leave this one and so on it's very easy well, you should uh, go and see Nikki's uh, tutorial and see what she does different. I'm not gonna say it here. Why she does what exactly she does different? I think you should uh, go and see her tutorial. Yeah, it's really easy this one and goes fast. If you have a chunky yarn and you do a, a scarf, let's say an infinity scarf or a bag or a basket that will go really fast if you have a chunky yarn and leave this a little bit tall okay I, I think I'm gonna finish this row and I will stop so the line is right here you go underneath that the stitch is right here 
slightly to your left well left to the that bar and leave this a little bit tall yeah it goes really fast and especially if you want to make a for a sweater or something like that you know the the part here the cuffs or whatever wrist whatever it's called one more time and this one a little bit and you're gonna go like this in a round and round and round and leave it a little bit loose and so on well I finished the, the row already let's do this one and that's it and that's it <coughs> It's a very easy, and you can see the, the lines are popping, you know. And you can change colors, you can do so many things with this stitch if you like. But yeah, uh, you have to do one row of single crochet if you, whatever you do. Uh, for example, for an infinity scarf or a hat, uh, you have to do the first row single crochet or two rows, depends how many you like to, to make. And then, when you reach the the beginning of the the row, you start with the in the first stitch two single crochets, skip one stitch, and the next stitch two single crochets, and so on. And then you start to to do the going under the line and the next uh, stitch. So yeah, this is the well. I don't know if I should call it the the Turkish star stitch. I uh, I will just say maybe the wrist or the cuff. A stitch because she does it a little bit different and I'm sure her uh, will be a little bit different the way the stitch looks but I for me I think it's much easier just to go underneath that stitch on top not the way she she does it yeah it's a little bit confusing and you don't know especially if you change colors maybe if when you change colors it will be much easier you yeah? know she will explain to you why you know well, whatever she, it's much easier when you have uh, different colors each row yeah. okay guys well maybe I will call this cuff uh, stitch it's really nice give it a try it has a nice look to it especially if you mix colors it will look really nice okay okay thank you for watching have a good day bye